Welcome back guys, the Final Fantasy 13 post game. We're standing in a very nice scenic piece of terrain around here. Lots of adamantoises, tortoises, adamantor, blah blah blah, big and small. Titan milling around in the background, but we are here for mission number 54. Mission number 54 is a special mission. Mission 54 has its own little kind of, you could say, story. And that is why we're here, in amongst the area where all the adamantoises live. Pick up this treasure chest over here, because on top of this plateau is a small little friend to meet. Let's see if we can go coax him out of a little bit of running around, eh? Where are you, sir? Probably in the lush verdant green over here, I must admit. Huh? What's that? Out there, Greeny. Hey now, stop that already. Oh, you asking for it now. All right, that does it. Come here, you. Oh, you think you real hot stuff, don't you? You just wait until next time, big guy. Oh no, head spinning. Don't go hurling now. Saz getting thrown for a total loop by the little cactor. There's an enemy appearing on the map here. So let's go meet him head on with force. Sorry, sir. We. Oi! Come back here. You. Yeah. You Oi! You're not going to make me do it as well, just Saz. We're starting in a very defensive paradigm here, so it might be best to get our haste up and go for the throat. Oh, he does have a fair bit of HP, it seems. Kicks for a nasty amount. Let's have a lever here. I'm still we've got the defensive paradigms from last episode on. I think he's kind of realised now that I'm the aim of this. Weakness of fire. Let's see if we can get, like... Yes, in fire, sir. That would be lush. And fire on as well, we might be able to deal the damage we need to finish him nice and fast. In fact, might is not really the word I want to use. Definitely. And that weapon looks really cool glowing in the red. Five stars, no spoils. But a little nuisance defeated, but that little nuisance allows us access to mission number 54. So let's head over there ASAB, we'll jump down, and I'll see you there. And so, with Steve Stone 54 floating alas, it's time to check out the text and check out what the mission involves, but we kind of know it's going to be a spiky green fiend at the end of it. What would it say? The bigger they are, Gigantor. We five the sea are the shepherds who see the caravan safe from harm. Though we act as one, it falls to me to fulfill our focus, for I am the leader, and what manner of leader would shirk this most onerous of duties? I could not abide such shame. The eastern tours of the dominion of our mark, a fell gigantor, is said to frequent a rise within Ortois territory. For honour, the foul sea, and my brothers, I will slay the spiny scourge and carve my own legend in its ruined husk. That was kind of a slightly violent way of wording this. But of course, in Adamantois territory, we head back to where we fought the small one. For his bigger brother to get revenge on Saz. Let's go. So we stand ready once again at the field of battle, ready to face Cactor's gigantic brother with hope looking expectantly or staring creepily depending on your perspective. Let's step forward and see our opponent. Spawn, sir, spawn! Think our prickly green pests back. Come for another shot at old Saz, have you? Sweet mercy! Oh. I don't believe we met. I know that trot. It is you, isn't it? Find yourself some fertilizer, did you? 
Well, size and <laughs> Outrun by a cactus. Twice. Mm. Oh no. Everything's spinning. <laughs> Playing with me? I'll wipe that smirk off your face. I'll teach you to mess with size. Yes, I'm sure he will. Apart from Saz, isn't taking part in the battle. Let's get to work. Find out exactly his weaknesses. Wait a second, that was 10,000 needles. Right, that sucks. Susceptible to the days is our first thing on the list here. I'm right here. Keep hasting. I'm We're going right to need to here. change to a medic paradigm. I need to get that probe off me. Well, actually, probably not really needing to get off me. It seems he debuffed the 10,000 needles. Which, of course, is a bad thing. He doesn't have that much HP, either. 1111111. So, 1 million, 100. No, 1 million, 100. Thousand. What? 1 million, 111,111. That's not exactly that hard to say, but I failed it miserably. Right. Cable inflicting pog, cable inflicting pain, that sucks, susceptible to daze. Weakness to fire, of course. We just need to hit him where it hurts. And hope the lightning tanks all the blows. Apart from that, prudent planning could really help us. That and making sure that lightning isn't completely locked down from using attacks. It would also be quite good, but we've been fire on our weapon as well. I hope healing her up. We don't even really need an attacking paradigm. Hey, would you hit Fang? That's very rude. Okay, stop hitting Fang. This is getting really bad. You need to heal Fang and then heal Lightning as fast as possible, Hope. Well, these 10,000 needles are messing with me. You can book, 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 book all you like, sir. Your weird noises. We lost our end fire, which is something we really, really needed. And now we've lost our ability to attack. What an annoying guy. Especially because all the time, we're losing more and more our faculties to do stuff. We just need to finish him off as soon as possible. Another attack round should leave us in a healthy state. However, will we get there? Keep healing hope. Thank you. We more or less just went brute force. And smacked him in the face, but it's a very, very small target time to get the 5 star on that guy. Either you need something like an instant stagger, or just go all out the star for damage. But we got him down, no problem. It was more horrific fog and just a debuffing fest, disabling our sentinel, meaning that we couldn't use the end fire to just pile in. Two minutes isn't exactly a good time for that fight, obviously no stars, but we got it done! And your party has earned the rank of Needleworker. What a baffling enemy. What a baffling enemy indeed. Anyway, with the Cactars defeated, in fact, when we killed the first small Cactar and went up here for the first time, we spawned them everywhere, more or less, so they're all about the place now. I will head off and look for mission 56, because mission 55 was of course the quest for the growth egg. Something already done, so let's get on our way, even though I keep ho hopping upwards. Don't hop upwards. Go this way. Right. Mission 56, go! With our latest giant nemesis down, we move on to hopefully bigger prey. With mission number 56, we're now in the sea stone circle. Ready to take on all these missions? We should take us up to more or less the last missions of the game. So let's get started on number one of the Seastone Circle. Mission 56. A toothy grin. Expression of the soul creates ripples that travel far and wide. Those ripples quicken life throughout creation. Entreat with the Oogaloo. 
whose heavy footfalls send forth mighty waves and become one with life's circle here yet again. The Ashes Massif is where we're heading. I'm sure we fought Ugalu before, I think. Something has changed. Something has happened. The landscape of the land has warped. And it appears... Does that guy look different now? You can barely see in front of your own face. Titan's gone. I don't know where on earth he's got to. But let's get off. And find our next mark, so to say, Yashas Massif, we're on our way. That was a bit baffling. Smoky sky all around. Where did Titan go? I'm sure we'll find out if we complete the whole thing. Let's head there right away. With a lot more footwork out of the way, we find Ugalu. On top of this kind of precipice, kind of like Simra on Pride Rock, you could say. It seems that he has allies. We will take everything down in a bid for supremacy. We'll dodge, dodge, dodge. And go for Ugalu himself. In fact, he dodges completely. Back attack. I want some extra damage done for that. Alright, let's cast two slogans for no reason other than get a couple of buffs up some hate. Get to work, because you know we've got the power to deal with this guy. Should be able to deal with this in no time at all. Hi you Galu, time to build up your gauge and generally put in the damage to kill you off in about two seconds. Easy marks are the nice marks, we've been fighting two hard marks and because we are over gearing we have to complete the missions in so fast a time but I'm not getting five stars anymore, oh well. Rodo Crozite, thank you. Data log updated. But we head off back to the circle at once for mission number 57. Mission 57's up next, so let's check it out. What yours is brine? What yours is mine indeed? The soul seeks opposite extremes and rends its fibre in so doing. At once craving autonomy and yearning to be part of a greater whole. And treat with us hugging, who ease suffering souls and become one with life circle here again. So these are kind of like the Titan trial speeches, somewhat in their structure. Especially because Titan himself seems to be angry that I'm doing them or something. I'm not sure what that cutscene is about, apart from turning everything incredibly dusty and unseeable. But let's head back to the warp stone. And to the marked location. Go, go, go! At the place that we found Hope all passed out is where we locate our next mark. So, Hope, you can do some actual fighting within this place rather than just lying on the ground there. Well, let's get to work. Now, these guys have always been a bit of a pain earlier on, but we're so much more powerful than we were before. I can't imagine them being an issue at all. Not in the slightest bit. Our Ravagers cut through them with elemental spells. And then we follow suit. With strong physical attacks. No mark is safe right now because we can cut through them. Unless they're a special monster. They're going down in two seconds. Back. So the sea stones circle at once. Now back at the Sea Stone Circle, let us check out mission number 58. Only six more to go after this one. 58, the color of many is a Humbaba, a behemoth. The soul must maintain balance to be apart from the whole is to ferment discord. And treat with the Humbaba who calls the wayward and become one with life circle here again. Why are you interested in me dying? I don't want to die. Though if I'm the predator and they're the prey, then that's part of the circle of life as well.
Titan is yet again not a happy bunny. But we head over to our next location at once. Here we go. Our final mark for the episode stands before us. The Humbaba with a solitary robot companion it seems as well. Well he's not going to prove any problem. They're probably both not going to prove any problem. Let's get to work Humbaba where are you going? I'm here. Come back Humbaba. I thought you loved me. Like I loved you. Anyway then. Smart Bomb might be the way to go. Build up chain gauges fast. All that jazz. Hopefully they should stagger the other one. Will they manage to kill it though is the question. Nope. Not without me directing them. There we go. Nicely done. So we build up his chain gauge just a little bit. We're never going to get 5 star. We know that. It's just not allowed to happen anymore. And then go all out. Lots of nice debuffs. With Fang attacking, it's game over. Five star for the mission, hooray! Speed Sash, because we're so speedy with defeating these marks of late. But well, that'll be the last mark for the mission. We'll complete the remaining sea stones of that circle next episode. But we fought off Gigantor this one. And something's going down with Titan, as he seems to be putting us through yet more trials. Join me for more, and I'll see you guys around. Bye bye.